All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to Night Owl Rides. Today, we are putting on <gasps> some floorboards. The Apex mini floorboards from Thrashing Supply Company, to be exact. All right. All right, everybody, sorry for the super selfie angle, but uh, I have everything over here on the bench ready to go. I'm gonna take everything out of the kit and uh, get it all assembled over here, then bring it on over to the bike, get it all set up. Uh, I'm gonna get my foot position dialed in, then tighten everything down. So uh, we'll go step by step, all right. All right, so we got the floorboards pre-assembled over here on the bench. Uh, I got the Loctite on these bolts right here only. I haven't put it on the bolt going into the clevis yet. So I'm just gonna get that over there, just kind of put it on the bike, see how it feels, and then I'm gonna get everything all locked up. Guess what? I ordered the Dyna connection, not the M8 soft down. Great. <laughs> All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome back. Aha, got the right clevis for the Apex mini floorboards. Uh, yeah, I am pumped. They came in the mail today from Thrashing. Um, I have to say, customer service at Thrashing is amazing. I uh, gave them a call. I did not know that these clevises were uh, sold solo on the website. They are, uh, but the, um, the, the people that were uh, doing customer service were amazing they knew exactly what i needed uh when i explained the problem they said oh yep it's on the website go check it out right there or we can order it for you so shout out to customer service and rush thank you Damn, daddy yeah all right what is up everybody uh welcome back so um i got the m8 clevis in the mail today I also have my two-year-old helping out. Um, so the difference, uh, what happened originally when I ordered the part, I ordered the wrong part because I'm not that great at the internet, but uh, I, it came with the Dyna connection. So you can see it's one piece uh, and for the M8 soft tail, you want that like, uh, almost like a hoof. Uh, you want the clevis, you want that, you want the pronged clevis. So uh, you can see here, uh, the two prongs that come up. Uh, it's got the little hole for the spring on the inside. So we're gonna get that set up. Uh, we're on the shift side now. Um, I wrapped up the uh, I wrapped up the exhaust side first. That was uh, pretty easy. You know that side leans up a little bit more the way that the kickstand goes. So I just did that side really quick just to get it all done. But I'm just gonna quickly go through this. I'll walk you through the steps of how to uh, get the Thrashing Apex Mini floorboards on your bike. All right. All right, so I'm gonna quickly go over the anatomy of the floorboard right now. When it comes, it comes uh, in two pieces. The lower piece uh, with the screws that I set that up in the garage earlier in the video, you can uh, see that. Um, so I have these Loctite, blue Loctite, boom, blue Loctite down on here. Uh, and then the next thing that's gonna go on is the clevis, uh, which will go into the receiver there. And then you have the pin, which comes along the outside. Um, once you get these on the, uh, the floorboard when you get them all dialed in where you want it to go uh, pull these off and Loctite this also there's a set screw at the bottom that you're gonna put some blue Loctite on uh, when it's all said and done so these are the final steps but right now we're just gonna take off the old foot peg uh, get this put on get it dialed in with my foot position make sure that I can shift make sure that my foot feels comfortable and then we're gonna uh, lock it all in place so uh, first step in getting this off, there is a snap ring that keeps this clevis pin in. And uh, I went to Home Depot, got these pliers, no spring on these, they're like the $10 version, but they're really good and you know they make the job a lot easier. So you just bring them in here, get them the two prongs, you can see the two prongs here, get those on the, uh, the little holes in the tab, open it up, spread it apart, push down, and a little bit of elbow grease pops right off, so. You can see that's the snap ring right there for the clevis pin and then if we go back down here just pop the clevis pin out now you just want to be careful because this is spring loaded so it will pop off if you just pull it all out so gently pop that out keep pressure there put all this stuff off to the side nice and neat uh when you do pull this off just pinch with your fingers because you want to make sure that you have the uh, orientation of the spring the same way and when it comes off sometimes it just flies apart you know total yard sale so you can see what part you need to go into your clevis and it just replaces like that and it's a simple swap right here align those pins at the springs a little bit of space there there you go now you got the tension in there Replace your clevis pin. 
down inside there we go boom just like that and then you can actually uh before you forget pop this guy back on on the other side i left this to the last but you know uh i almost lost it so put it back on for safekeeping and the way i did that was i just pushed the pin down got it set up with my fingers uh, there's a little groove to get it set into so you get it set in the groove push it down kind of hurts it's pretty thin so then you just use the butt of uh, the screwdriver or the wrench and just kind of push it in there and go right on in there we go I swear it'll go right on in all right let's go like that there we go and that is back on Ugh. All right, so now it's time to uh, just want to tighten this down just so it's snug so you can sit on the seat and then uh, we're going to do a little bit of foot positioning. All right, got the floorboard on. Still need to adjust the shift lever. Um, just looking at some videos now because I don't believe that I have to adjust it here. I think I leave that there. And I think I adjust it up here at the linkage. So. Uh, just looking at some videos right now How to properly do that so I could dial this and I want this up just about right there So you can see the linkage move in the background there. I want that to be like right there just enough room You know, it's not even half inch and it's just enough to get that boot in there More comfortably safely in the colder weather. I ride in boots a lot um, so uh, bands slide in nice and tight, but I have a little bit of spacing issue here. So um, I think I got the floorboard where I want it. I think this is nice, but um, I think that this is good. I'm just going to double check. I want to make sure that the lines look good with the bike. I do want to take that into account, but I also want to make sure that safety first type deal, you know, you can get your foot under there and shift. Um, so I uh, want to make sure it all works together. But um, right now I'm just going to you know take a look at how this looks, take a couple photos of that, make sure that looks nice. Maybe adjust it back just up just a little bit if I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit so uh, I'm thinking that the shifter bar will probably end up being about here uh, then up come out and then this might level out just a little bit more so I'm uh, gonna make those quick adjustments and then get everything locked locked tight in and uh, yeah just go for a quick little rip around the block make sure everything's uh, feeling good all right so we are here got the awesome floorboard in place the apex mini from thrashing it's backwards because I'm filming on my phone see really nice sleek design billet aluminum super strong just stood on this peg it's in there pretty good blue loctite locking it in um, and so you can see the position just a few things I did take into consideration the lines the natural lines of the bike so like the lines from the exhaust pipe but then also the line here uh, you know where my foot sat on the uh, the brake pedal making sure that I had enough uh, area to depress the brake pedal and I do so when your foot comes forward to depress the, the brake pedal you can actually go past uh, this horizontal line right here and get that full brake uh, mechanism and it feels comfortable so uh, no risk of you know losing any leverage that you might have had when you would go from a peg to a floorboard still all the uh, the leverage is there um, really nice and it really does feel good having that full platform underneath your foot and then you're able to shift your foot back and forward on there so just a few more positions for the foot to be on so you can be back here you can be up here you can have uh the full full foot on top you can be up a little bit more hang your heel so uh a few more different positions to ride with just to stay comfortable uh without sacrificing any like the safety or the ergonomics from your foot to your brake pedal so uh overall pretty good haven't got on it on the road yet so that will be the uh the test but um yep just uh the uh, pin inside here, blue Loctite on there, and then the set screw right there. Yeah, hard to do in reverse, there we go. Uh, set screw right there, blue Loctite on that. And now uh, the clevis pin, uh, which just pop that back down in there. I gotta get the uh, uh, the um, the uh, snap ring right onto there. So that's the last thing I'm gonna do. And then uh, wrap this side up and get the shift side on and then go for a little cruise, all right. Get back 
So is it supposed to be like twisty? Like it is? Like going back and forth? Huh? That's going back and forth. Are you talking about the plate? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's gonna sit like like that. I just gotta make sure that I can press the brake from that. Like that. And um what are you thinking about doing for the um little kid the hodos? Hey buddy. What are you thinking about doing the passenger foot holders? Yep. All right, what well, is good, everyone? So just uh, got on the bike, put the floorboard on loose, still pliable right now. I haven't locked tied anything down. Uh, trying to find that right angle. So just put my foot on and uh, moved it around a little bit and tried to depress the brake pedal just to make sure that that felt good. Uh, you wanna, you know, before you put on any Loctite and, uh, you know, set things in place, you wanna just make sure that your ergonomics are right, but also that, uh, you know, you're gonna be able to use your back brake and depress that properly. Um, but I think the setup is looking good. If you take a look, it's just about even with the pipe. So uh, from like a lines perspective, but also from like ergonomics perspective, it's looking pretty good. I think I might have adjusted it. I think I like it nice pretty flat you can de definitely you know, like move your foot up to depress that down uh it works out pretty well so i'm actually gonna lock that one in All right, just got back from a quick little rip. Uh, I'm loving these floorboards. Uh, yeah, the foot placement, uh, the options, and also just, you know, the, the flat footing on the floorboard itself, such a comfortable feeling. I was able to stand up. I was able to move around. Uh, I felt really comfortable. It changed my position of sitting. Uh, kind of felt like I was sitting just kind of like in a really comfy chair. Um, I really like the full floor footing. It, it's really comfortable. So. Uh, yeah, first, you know, quick ride. Uh, only went out for about like 15, 20 minutes. Um, just around the block. Just wanted to go out, you know, get some speed up, uh, go around some slow turns and stuff like that. Just make sure I got a feeling for everything. Make sure that everything was on nice and tight. But uh, yeah, uh, first impression, really good. Really happy with the setup. Um, looks great on the bike. Uh, again, I do got to find a way to pop some color. Might get some red in there. Who knows? Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a later episode. But uh, thanks for sticking around. Sorry, this one took a little uh, while to get out. I'll get better at ordering parts off the internet. But um, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. You know, you guys like these floorboards? Do you like floorboards? Are you peg? Let me know. Love to know what you guys think. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.